Good morning guys. I hope you're all well. Since I last spoke to you, I have actually been away for a few days. We went to Porto. So I'm just eating my breakfast. Avocado, cherry tomatoes, lots of salt on a bagel. We went to Porto to see my cousin who lives there. We've never been before. I've been to Lisbon, absolutely loved it. Went with Rich before we had kids. Also went on a press trip with Next, which was really fun. It's kind of a similar vibe. I have to say, I don't think we truly got to see Porto properly. Going on a city break with young kids is just next next level insanity. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was torrential rain, like absolutely pouring with rain, which makes it a little bit difficult um, in a city where usually you walk everywhere. Like it's kind of small enough to walk everywhere, but quite tricky when you have young kids because Grey's at the age where like she should be walking and she can walk and we haven't got like a double buggy, but walking up a lot of hills is tiring for a little four year old with little legs and she she hates walking anyway so she didn't want to walk and then Rudy doesn't want to be in the buggy but it's not really safe enough for him to walk there's like trams and roads and stuff our like yo-yo buggy was just not cut out for cobbled streets and like pavements so that broke quite quickly and we had to borrow my cousin's buggy so like the logistics of a city break in the pouring rain like we were soaked every day was tricky and I feel a little bit like I need a holiday from the holiday but saying that overall was a really lovely trip because it's just so lovely to spend time with family and go somewhere new and even though it's stressful I love traveling with the kids I love seeing their reaction to new things and going on a plane and I think it's so good for them to like see the world and see people talking different languages and it was fun but have to say kind of enjoying just being back home being back into my like usual routine hopefully we'll try go back in like spring when the weather's better i think it'll be a totally different experience we'll be able to go to the beach and stuff if you know porto we did do like the cable car and i feel like we saw quite a lot we ate some good food but yeah i just kept thinking god this would have been such a different trip if it was just me and Rich pre-kids. <laughs> but it was, you know, still great to have them there. Today is Halloween. Every year I think I'm gonna be the parent that like bakes Halloween themed treats and like has a little kind of cute Halloween party, but it always comes around to it and I've like barely got outfits for my kids. Grace said she wanted to be Matilda. So I ordered on Vinted this little like pinafore dress. But that's all I've got. I'm just hoping I can find like a long sleeve white top in her wardrobe, tights, black boots, I've ordered red ribbon on Amazon and then I think I'm gonna face paint her to make her look a little bit scary because otherwise she's just gonna look like a little girl in school uniform. So maybe she could be like scary dead Matilda or something. Rudy has a little cape thing that he hates wearing. So who knows? We are gonna try and go trick or treating on our road. I think Rudy's gonna come out for a little bit and then he'll go home and Gray's very excited for trick or treating. And I think my sister's having like a little Halloween party. So that'll be cute. Before I really get stuck in and dig into this vlog, I wanted to ask you guys to leave a comment down below and ask me a question because it's been a little while since I did a Q&A, like a chatty Q&A and I feel like sometimes when I feel a little bit disconnected from you guys that's a really nice way of kind of having a little back and forth chat. You can ask me anything, like whether it's something materialistic about buying something or an item that I've mentioned somewhere and you wanna know where it's from. So something like a little more deeper, anything from like fashion, beauty, parenting, food, home, whatever you like. There's obviously gonna be some things that I don't wanna talk about that I'm sure you guys know, but there's a level of vulnerability and authenticity. And if I can, I'll get as open and chatty with you guys as I can. So please leave me a question in the comments down below and I'll collect some for a future Q&A video. Right, I'm just getting ready to post this month's Foggy Mornings. If you don't know what Foggy Mornings is, it's a broadcast channel that I have on my Instagram. So if you go to my Instagram profile, you'll see it under my bio. It says I've got three channels. I've got Foggy Mornings, which is like a monthly little cozy newslettery type thing. I've got the Snack Club, which is all to do with like pickles and snacks. And What Are You Watching, which is like a TV club where I talk about what I'm watching on TV and what I think of it. Foggy Mornings, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Like I'm kind of testing it out and giving it a go. I feel like it should probably be like a newsletter or a sub stack or something because it's maybe too much text to read in like a dm format but then also it's not it doesn't feel like i don't know it doesn't feel like worthy of newsletter it's not like important stuff it's just kind of nice cozy little musings of things <laughs> i'm still experimenting but this is like the second month of doing it and yeah it's fun to like put it together so i'm getting ready to post that and it's nice because you can just read it whenever you have the time you don't have to read it then and there it's not going to go anywhere so you can just check in and have a little read when you fancy it okay i'm going to finish my breakfast and do that and then come back to you guys. I just posted on the Foggy Mornings channel. So for those of you who aren't sure, it kind of looks like this. 
Can you see? And you can just scroll through and I've got like a mix of text. I've got a photo, I've got some links to YouTube videos, a poll, there's like a recipe there. And a little voice note at the end. And then I like this bit at the end where I can ask you guys a question and you can all join in. Yes, yeah, so that was fun. I also just posted a reel of how I'm trying to incorporate color in some of my outfits. I said at the beginning of the video that when I look at people who are wearing color, I've realized that it makes me feel happy. And then I realized, well, if that's the case, then I should probably try and incorporate color into my own outfits as well, because there's a few people I follow online and they wear like a mix of different prints and colors and patterns. And I look at their content and just like, it makes me feel good. So. I I think I need to, to break away. I think since trying to re kind of find my new style since having kids, I fell into a trap of thinking that you just always have to be so chic and wear like neutral colors to look stylish. And I just don't think that's the case. I think looking happy and confident can add to looking stylish. And I think by wearing a bit of color, it, that, it makes me feel happy and confident. So I just posted a reel showing a few different outfits that, um, I can like incorporate color from like a, a red bag, green trainers, some like colored socks. It was a fun reel to film, so if you want to go have a little watch of that, it's on my Instagram. I actually just got a Cezanne parcel. I ordered a few things from Cezanne. I'm going to do a little TikTok trying on, but one of the things I'll quickly show you is the Gaspard cardigan, which I already have in beige and blue and i actually have them in two different sizes in this color i have a large and then in the blue i have an extra large i know that is absolutely ridiculous i'm a size 12. i know i know but it does kind of fit differently on everyone um i went for the large but then it's actually quite big so i got it in this like amazing green color i haven't tried it on yet I would say it's like borderline itchy. People always ask me. I think some people would definitely find this itchy. I'm normally quite fussy, but I find this like soft enough that I can cope with it. It's not like unbearably itchy. So I've just been finished filming the TikTok and I realized that these are the Gaspard cardigans, but actually the one I bought is called the Barry. And the difference is, because they're very similar, is that this is a V-neck, um, whereas these ones are not. So I just wanted to make sure, just in case you guys wanted to get it it's a little bit different okay i just got a text saying that my ms delivery is at my local ms i find it so much quicker to order to a local ms store than to order to home it takes like five days if you order to home it literally came next day so i'm just going to drive up the road to my local ms pick that up um it's an ms food so i've got a few bits i need to get anyway for the fridge a few some like veg and stuff so i'm gonna pop there now i'll take you guys with me i've just been filming some stuff i'm after saying i'm gonna wear more color i'm now wearing all gray but this is just super comfortable this is my cos cashmere jumper that's old and then these trousers are actually new from arquette and i would go as far as saying they are like the perfect trousers ever they are quite like structured which I really like and they've got these nice pockets on the back and the side and they're like dark grey and they're wide but not too wide I don't know if you can see on camera but they are really really comfortable I'm absolutely loving wearing these at the moment by the way look how cute the pumpkins came out I just used like special paint pens I couldn't bother to carve any this year got this one and this one that just says boo very happy with them much easier <laughs> This is what I picked up from M&S for lunch. There wasn't actually much choice in this one. It was like a small M&S, but I got the hoisin duck poshi bowl. I thought that would taste good. So I'm just gonna quickly eat that and then finish off some work. Mmm. To be honest, anything with hoisin sauce on is delicious. Okay, let's open the M&S parcel that I just picked up. I think the main reason I did this order, yeah, was for this. I needed like a nude bodysuit quite hard to find one that isn't a thong like that is just my worst nightmare so yeah i just wanted one i've got a gunny top that does up at the front and i don't like to show skin so i just want to say nude underneath that you can't like obviously see it feels nice actually i also didn't want like there was one on skins but it it i just could tell it was gonna like make me feel like i couldn't breathe this feels very thin and it's got poppers so you don't have to pull it down when you need the toilet that looks good it's the seamless body shaping light control body i feel like that will come in very handy so that was what i wanted to order i was like whilst i'm ordering i needed a few bits i needed to get cozy fluffy socks for gray you know when you come down early in the morning and like it's just cold downstairs i thought oh 
she's gonna love those annoying because that's a really good christmas present but it's already cold needed to get gray some socks got her some socks got her some white socks school socks weekend socks rudy socks but i feel like i need to get them wool stuff soon it's gonna be cold and the best way to keep them warm is by using wool vests and socks instead of cotton i definitely learned that last year and then i saw these now these were very expensive like i wouldn't spend this anywhere let alone at m s where it doesn't really feel like i don't know i feel like when you're going to spend a lot of money on something you want the whole like shopping experience you want the like the joy of it and the bag and it, this just feels a bit like i'm not really sure it's worth spending this much money on it but I thought I'm just going to order them. I'm not even going to think about spending the money because I might not keep them. But if these are really good, which they just might be, I feel like that would just be a really good find because these are probably very, a lot more expensive everywhere else. They're leather trousers. Um, I don't have any leather trousers and I really feel like it's something that would be great in my wardrobe. I got them in a size 12, which is my current size. I was a 10 before kids, a 14 after kids, and I've ended up somewhere in between at a 12. And I'm five foot seven, if it, in case anyone wants to know. They are 199 pounds, 200 pounds, which I think for leather trousers is probably good. But for me, that's a lot of money to spend on one item. So I'm excited to try these on. I can't believe I ended up ordering leather trousers and all I needed was a body. This is the problem with online shopping. They're wide leg. Oh, they've got like a seam. They, they seem really nice. They're not like too shiny, I don't think. I don't know. I don't really know what you're meant to look for in leather trousers. Let's try these on. Okay, first impressions are that they were quite tricky to do up. Like they're slightly on the tighter side um, in terms of being a 12, I think. They do do up. And once I did them up, I was like, ooh, that feels good. It's like tighter than other clothes. I think they look really nice at the back, like on my bum. Um, I find that a lot of trousers, since having kids, are tighter on my thighs than like in my head. I'm not used to things being tight on my thighs. I used to have um, smaller thighs obviously before kids which is fine but um yeah I, d I can't really get used to that feeling of things clinging to my thighs i find that a bit of a strange feeling um and i, I sometimes worry that it's unflattering that's why i end up wearing looser trousers often because i just I just don't i'm not used to that feeling um I, I like the shape of the leg the slightly kind of wider straight leg i haven't tried sitting down yet that's the ultimate test isn't it Ooh, oh no. oh Oh, they're definitely tighter because oh, they're quite high waisted, which is nice. But this area is definitely tight. But then I don't know. Maybe people just like suffer a bit to look good. I often try things on and think, how is everyone else wearing these things? Are they just uncomfortable and they just accept it? I mean, they're not like an everyday trouser. It's like going to an event. Maybe they'll stretch a bit. Leather stretches, doesn't it? Oh, I do like them. But are they too tight on my thighs? Um, I don't know the answer. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have a little think. Why does it always start raining on Halloween? I don't think I remember a Halloween where it isn't pouring with rain and freezing and soaking. It's so annoying. I literally can't imagine trick or treating in like America or somewhere where it's not miserable weather and you're just cold and wet and like going around people's houses, knocking on their door, thinking, why am I doing this? Honestly, this country and the weather. Okay, I'm just getting myself prepped because things are about to kick off at home. Okay, this is the dress I got from vintage <laughs> does this look like matilda white long sleeve top underneath that's all i've got i haven't got a shirt she can wear some tights she's got some black boots and then i've ordered red ribbon on amazon it hasn't come yet it should come between three and five if not she can wear this and then i've got a face painting set so i'm just hoping i can do something and then she's gonna have to wear a coat so you won't be able to see any of this anyway this is our little halloween bowl from years ago it's actually pretty small i could do with a bigger one because usually there's like three five kids and they're all trying to shove their hand in here um, but we've got some carry bow oh, really i feel like we have enough sweets i always try to get like individual packs because otherwise it's just so gross they all put their hand in and touch everything and like look. so carry bow this is chocolate where am i gonna put this in here you go i've got a big mixing bowl Maybe I should just put everything in here. And then it's a mix of Haribo and chocolate. There you go. I remember when I used to go trick-or-treating and 
Sometimes you'd knock on someone's door and they didn't have anything. Cause they were like, oh, is it Halloween already? And I used to get all kinds of things. Tangerines, pound coins. Grace come home from school with a temperature. Honestly, kids are so unpredictable. After all of that stressing and planning. <laughs> I think Halloween's cancelled this year. Rich is currently changing our ring doorbell to um, Halloween. No, that's it. No, don't scare our kids. Which one? No. Wow, there's so many. I Spooky like this organ. one. I like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me show you Grey's Halloween costume. So this dress was three pounds on Vinted. It's M and S. Her white long sleeve top that she already had, her boots she already had, and her tights that she already had. You've got a little red ribbon. Zombie Matilda. Okay, it's the next day. Halloween was a little bit of a fail. I kind of briefly said, Grey came back from school, she wasn't feeling well, and it's just like, I don't think a kid should walk around trick-or-treating when they're not 100%. So we still got her dressed up. She was in charge of like opening the door and handing out sweets, which she actually, you can go that way, it's fine. <laughs> she actually um, really enjoyed because then she got to like see all the kids. I feel like trick or treating is a bit overrated. I think answering the door is actually quite fun. But anyway, so yeah, she just answered the door to the kids, and some of her friends came and like knocked, and she was really excited to see them. So that was cute. But I've kept her off school today, um, and this is our first experience of having a kid sick off school. And me and Rich, well, Rich wasn't meant to be working from home today, but he's working from home so that we could like sort out logistics of picking up Rudy and everything. Um, but yeah, I'm sure when I was a kid and I was sick of school, I used to just watch films all day. Uh, maybe I was older, I don't know, but she's like, I'm bored, play with me, and asking a million questions. And me and Rich are like, this is really hard. I don't, <laughs> don't really understand how I'm supposed to work. And look after her at the same time. Oh, all these like new logistics to learn. I feel like really far away. I am gonna do a little post office run. I need to like send some stuff back. I need to send those Suzanne cardigans back. I need to send something off for my cousin. She wanted posting. I went to pottery last night. It was my last session. I actually glazed most of my pieces last week because I knew it would be Halloween and I wouldn't be able to go the whole time. But I had like, one more piece that I needed to do last night, so I popped there. And that's it. That's the end of my eight-week course. Definitely going to do another one. I think I'm going to wait till after Christmas because it's such a busy time of year now. But yeah, I think next time I'll do wheel throwing only because I think that I really enjoyed hand building, but I feel like it's something I could teach myself, whereas wheel throwing is something I really need to just practice at. Um, so yeah, I definitely think I'll do another one. I got a couple of my pieces back. I'm waiting for the rest. Um, these two, mm, I'm not like 100% happy with they came out, but they're still... Yeah, I love everything that I make because I'm like, wow, I made that. But there's definitely things that I would change. So this is meant to be a sushi plate. It definitely like curved, curled up quite a lot in the kiln. And it's also got some marks here from where I've used the little thing to dip it in. Um, the idea is that you rest your um, chopsticks on this bit. I'll show you closer in one sec. And then I also did a mug. So if you will remember, on my last course, I made this mug, um, which I actually think came out way better. I much prefer the dark color of the slip on this one. Although I think the handle on this one's better. I can tell like I didn't trim it enough. It's way too bottom heavy. Um, and also the blue is a lot more blue. Oh, wait, my mom's calling me. Hi. Hello. Sorry, yeah, so this one is a little bit too bottom heavy, which means I didn't trim enough off the bottom. You can feel this one was much better. I, I, I think I got more help with this one on the first course, but I like the idea that I'm sticking with the same pattern and I'm creating a little bit of a, a set. And for this one, I did white on the inside and then I left it just like natural on the outside. Let me show you a little closer up. So this is the little sushi plate and you can just rest your chopsticks like that which i really like we don't have any sushi plates so i'm just glad that we have some even though it's definitely not perfect but it's a good first try and then you know, this is the one from my um the first course and this is the one i did on this one it's definitely not as nice to hold it's quite heavy as a cup also i make I made it this so big because i wanted it to be a good coffee size and it shrinks so much it's crazy 
Um, I definitely prefer the handle on this one. And I quite like that it's white on the inside and then natural on the outside. The slip came out a lot more blue. But now I have both of these together, which is kind of cute. I was planning on vlogging a little bit more today, but now that Grey is off school, I don't think that's gonna happen. So I'm probably gonna leave this vlog here, but don't forget guys to ask me a question for a Q&A coming up. As always, thank you so much for all of your lovely comments and stuff recently. I really love reading them. Yeah, that's all. I need to go to the post office. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.